Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Saint Nick Saint Nick soon will be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of Sugar Plum danced in their head. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter nap. When out on the lawn there roses such a clatter, I sprung from my bed to see what was the matter away to the window. I flew, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and blew up the sash. The moon shining on the new falling snow gave a luster of midday to objects below when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sled and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick i knew in a moment it must be saint nick more rapid than eagles, his whistle. They came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now dash or now dancer now. Prancer. Dancer, now vixen on comet, on cupid, on donder and boitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the walls. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane flew, when they met with an uh, object mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys and Saint Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney Saint Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in all fur from his head to his foot. His, his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he flung on his back and, and he looked just like a peddler opening his pack his eyes how they twinkled his dimples how merry his cheeks with like were like roses his nose like a cherry his jaw little mouth was dry up like a bow and his beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little 
round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head. Head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all these stockings that turned with a jerk. And laying his fingers high up his nose and getting, giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, he, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down on a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drew out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, to all a good night.